Are your holiday trees actually working in Grounded? Let me know in the comment section. It looks like some people are having some issues with some of them, that they're not necessarily giving the correct treats, candies and coal, even though you're going through different days. And I'll say some people, I've seen a few fair comments in Discord and on my own videos as well. So let me know if you are experiencing any issues. You should be getting around four to eight, no matter how many trees you actually have. The consensus could be that you only need two trees. Others are saying that it's better to have six, maybe eight trees, but don't go put in 20, 50 trees down because they did reduce how many candies you can get maximum after the PTB testing phase. And also going to talk about a error, I guess, and a little bit of clarification from Grounded themselves, as the title probably has clickbaited you a little bit. I did really want to make sure this message was loud, proud and clear. There will be no microtransactions added to Grounded. Certainly not cosmetics, paid ones at least anyhow, and seemingly no paid DLC. So what does the future hold for Grounded? We have any plans for season passes, uh, but we have discussed uh, cosmetics for the game. So maybe you guys can see my confusion there. When Eric was speaking about this, I was surprised that this just came out in a random casually grounded stream that they do. This mention of possibly discussing cosmetics, but it's come to light now, I realize that they were talking about the stuff we've seen in the holiday tree update. You've seen it, you've got the treats under the tree. The update went live yesterday. I think the majority of you are getting the right treats. But yeah, I don't think I was too off there. Like I said, if someone's asking a question about a, a battle pass, I think it's fair to say if you then answer talking about cosmetics, it's going to be assumed you're actually talking about paid cosmetics because why else would you talk about cosmetics in that way? But I'm really glad Eric reached out. He did correct me last night. And to quote, he said, they've got no plans for any paid cosmetics to be added to Grounded in the future. Now, I did this poll pretty much off the back of that nearly talking about what you guys would like to see added. And overwhelmingly, as I've mentioned a couple of times now, you guys are actually in favor of some sort of paid content to make Grounded even more or do even more of it. But by looks of things, it does seem like they really are not gonna be adding any new paid content. Instead, it looks like to me, they may be just updating the game continuously like we've seen with this holiday update and we will continue to see patches next year. I did talk to you guys the other day that there were some actual folders found in the most recent update suggesting that at one point they were considering DLC. It was labeled DLC 1 and 2 and it seemed to be based on some of the stuff that we saw in the leaked build before the launch of the game including the lizard armor sets and some more like the ant scepter or the queen scepter and stuff. But it does look like that got cancelled. They changed their minds with that stuff and it's not coming. Now I went through the things that I think Grounded needs and I'm down for this. I'm totally up for having some paid content like that. That's completely different, separate from the yard, where you can have some fun in arenas, battling creatures or each other, or like I suggested in my 10 things I think Grounded needs for maybe like riding creatures. That would be the way to add them as the backyard doesn't really need rideable tames. But it's seemingly canceled at the moment. Like I said, Dev said 90% of that stuff we saw in that dev world won't actually ever make it into Grounded. And so I'm sure they'll pivot and maybe give us something even better, hopefully. That content does look like it is going to continue to be free. And you got to say props, another great reason to support Grounded. Like, I believe that good games should receive extra support, especially a game that for most of us spent like 30 quid during early access for. I've had way more hours out of Grounded than any other AAA game I've played in the last five years. I want good game makers to make loads of money. I just have problems with not so good games selling loads of microtransactions. Why am I so sure about the new stuff? Well, again, every interview I've seen of Adam and Eric during launch stress that they are going to carry on working on Grounded. There's nothing to say they aren't other than their canned feature board. So I think it would be nice maybe at the start of next year to have some sort of conversation going or some sort of post or possibly even, yes, update very liberally the features board and just show us some indication of what to expect going forward are we going to get updates every three months anymore is it going to be longer but it does mean that we're going to get more substantial new chunky content it has been two months since the release of grounded now and like i said in interviews with adam that he did with phil spencer and a bunch of written interviews it seemed like he has big plans or carry on on plans we know the team are all still together 
other than a couple of additional helpers that helped out from Obsidian to maybe get grounded in certain places or phases during early access, the core team is still there. They're all working away as we've seen by this recent update. They've obviously started doing these events, so it seems like the events are gonna be a big deal going forward. So I'm happy to admit I'm wrong and I'm glad I'm wrong about them adding any kind of cosmetic paid items. It just brings to mind things like Fortnite where it's like 20 bucks for one stupid skin. Although that said, I still don't mind as much if they were to release a big DLC in the future, like a big new yard, and then had like a 4 99 pack that gave you extra 10 building or 20 building pieces. But yeah, I would expect hopefully next year to start getting a little bit more clarification about what Grand's going on. We don't need to know what that kind of content's going to be. It doesn't have to actually tell us if they're going to ever add anything that they wanted from that feature board or if they've got brand new ideas. We know they've been looking for feedback about defences. That was something else Adam spoke about recently, that he wanted to get ideas about defensive traps and more added to the game. Just give us some sort of heads up. What's the cadence of updates roughly going to be? Or is it a case of just waiting it out until the team are ready to show something bigger and better? That again is something they've alluded to in interviews and the Casually Grounded. It's something they're not quite ready to talk about just yet. They're all being focused on 1.1, making sure the game has got a good quality of life and all any last niggles from the launch of the game has been fixed. As I said to Eric last night, I love Grounded. I love what the team have done. If I ever do a video talking about stuff like that, it's never really just for the views. Like, I'm just keen and interested, as much the player base is, in the future of the game. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know that these kinds of videos do get views, but by far my regular videos where I just talk about update stuff or guides and reviews about content that's been added gets far more. But yeah, I think that would be a good time. Get Christmas out of the way. We've got a great update to enjoy for the next two weeks. And then hopefully we can get on and look at the future of Grounded in a little bit more structured light next year. And then finishing off with the trees, the devs are on it. They have seen the reports. They're asking for players if, to, if you've got a world save that you can send to them, if you play on Steam particularly as well, you can join a Discord and there's a way to do that. Raise it in the bug discussion or player support and they're trying to get to the bottom of it. I don't know if it's as widespread as I think it is. I have just seen a fair few comments in Discord complaining that even after three or four days, a lot of you guys aren't getting the treats underneath your tree. Although a potential fix for it is replacing the tree. So place them once, and then go ahead and dismantle them and replace them once more. When I did live stream last night, there were a few different things going on. On a creative world, it seemed like they weren't spawning in for a few days. And then on my actual legit single player world, it seemed like it took about two days for them to roll in. But I couldn't be sure of that because it does look like they come in on a 24 hour basis rather than a daily. So even if you sleep, they're not going to just be there on your tree. It might be from when you actually place the tree down. You're not guaranteed to get treats either. Remember, they've said four to eight treats, no matter how many trees you've got. So in theory, that means you could potentially get four treats on one tree, four treats on another, and that's all you would get would be, or needing would be two trees. Events are important, and I feel like this first one is a decent attempt then, and if we see some more stuff like this in the future, I'll be down for it, but let's hope that there aren't as many maybe issues if people can't actually get this, because it's already, like I said, nine days into December now, a lot of you guys have felt like it's just been a bit late. Although again, I will say games like Ark, Tribes of Midgard, some other games, they still haven't got their actual seasonal events beginning until next week or even the week after. So I'm sure things like this will get ironed out if we do have one for like Easter and maybe some really other ones too. It'd be cool to have like a New Year's, Chinese New Year's event, aka a lunar event, a new moon. It can be all sorts. Ark, although I slate them a lot for the rubbish they put out on console sometimes and the events that have always kind of been a bit broken and late, they have done a variety of events celebrating summer, Thanksgiving with their turkeys, Halloween of course and more so if Grounded gets into that cadence where they're doing them kind of events so let me know what kind of events you'd like to see does it have to be based on real world stuff could it just be stuff they want to make up themselves let me know in the comment section down below and like I said let me know if the trees have been working for you and there we go if I can get more clarification next time I will think about it Eric has said I can ask him if I really need to clear something up so I'll do that I've always kind of been a bit hesitant about doing that though because I do feel like, although as much as I've big grounded up, I have still got to be a little bit independent. I'm going by info that's out there publicly. All right, I look at some of that info a little bit more in depth than most people probably do. 
But that's how I kind of try and stay a little bit independent so you guys get my full opinion rather than me just being a complete mouthpiece for a company. And Grounded Obsidian have never done that. Like, I've never really had that many conversations with them other than when I've done a podcast, luckily enough, uh, a video interview with some of the developers when they played Valheim and the Valheim developers played Grounded. Like, I have a few chats with them, but it's not like I get any secret info or anything. They've obviously got their plans, and I'm definitely not privy to, as I can get it wrong sometimes, or admittedly, based on what they say. But I will. If anything like this comes up again, I will absolutely ask Eric, and hopefully save you a click in future. So there we go. This is probably the last video from me on updates and news. I've got Let's Plays coming, some more guides. But that's it, I'm having Christmas off. So enjoy your holidays, whatever holiday you're celebrating. There's a whole bunch coming up in the next few weeks. Enjoy your time off with family if you don't celebrate your holidays. And I'll be back after Christmas with more of my hardcore playthroughs, more live streams, and getting back into the swing with a whole host of different types of content for Grounded. Literally, unless there's an update to fix some stuff, maybe early next week, you won't see another news video from me until the new year. So enjoy.